So this is the RX 6700 XT and it's retailing for $479. It's set to take on NVIDIA's RTX 3060 Ti and RTX 3070. Now I'm not gonna be doing your standard benchmark video where I use a bunch of older titles with built-in benchmarks. Instead, I wanna give you more of a realistic approach because I figure a lot of you people out there who are watching this just wanna know if it can play the games you're currently playing. So I'm gonna be picking some of the most popular titles being played on on Twitch and watched on Twitch today and see how well this card handles it. If you like this style of review, let me know in the comment section down below. Hit the like button so the algorithm knows and I'll make sure to do more videos like this. The test bench we're using is going to be a 10 900K from Intel. I don't have a 5000 series CPU. They're so hard to find and the ones that I did find are being sold for insane prices. I did enable resizable bar, but most of the games I'm testing probably don't take advantage of it. Now, just to give you a quick comparison to the 6800, it's the exact same length, pretty much the exact same width. The only difference is you're using two fans instead of three because the power draw on the 6700 XT is less than the 6800. There's less VRAM, 12 compared to 16. It has a smaller bus of 192 compared to 256, and obviously lower bandwidth of 384 compared to 512. So here's the thing about Warzone. It is so poorly optimized, no matter what GPU you're using, you wanna keep most of the settings low as possible so that you get the highest FPS as possible. Now I keep these settings the same, no matter if I'm using a 6800 XT or RTX 3080. The only thing you wanna be changing is the render resolution. We're gonna test out 1080p first, and then we'll test out QHD second. You know what, let's go Superstore. Let's, let's pretend I am a professional streamer. Come on, buddy, you gotta have to peek. You can just die. Like that. I think he's above me. Oh my god, he had a shotgun. You gotta be kidding. I ran right into it like an idiot. Oh, okay, we'll get out of this. Really good though. Oh man, a pistol? Okay. Get him out. He's going up top. This guy's going up top. I need to I need to kill this guy fast. He's coming up top right here. Oh, did I beat him? Oh my god, I'm so lucky. He should have. He should have beat me. Oh, he's gonna be mad. I totally messed that up, but hey, you know what? Kinda sucks to be you, bud. Okay, well, I was only wanted to find out. You ain't gonna see me come up this. Please be no guy, please be no guy, please be no guy. Okay, cool, sure. That's a great way to end it. Lovely jokers. Not even a warning that, that a missile was incoming. Next, let's try the same settings, but we're gonna change the resolution from 1920 by 1080 to 2560 by 1440 and see what kind of results we get when we play the game. I'm getting about the same FPS when I'm on the plane, which is expected, but I'm more curious how it looks and feels like when I start fighting and jumping down. We're getting about 150 to 160 at 1080p, so I'm expecting this to run at 130-ish. I don't know, let's see. Let's go straight to the Superstore. What have I done here? Okay, great way to start the game. Ah, oh, shotguns, nice. I'm good with shotguns, I think. Get out of here, baby. Let's go. Not, didn't, he, didn't even have a chance. Didn't even have a chance. Oh, I see him. Oh, 
Okay, anyways, that's that. Three gate kills. And it's good. you guys get an idea. Good frame rate. Now, for Overwatch, it's really well optimized. I'm not going to bother you showing 1080p because we know the game's going to run nice and fluid. Instead, I'm going to jump to QHD 2560 by 1440 at 165 hertz per second. I'm not going to change the graphics quality above high settings because I don't find the visual experience to be that much better. So, high settings is the settings that I personally play at, no matter what graphical card I'm using. <laughs> Push back there. Get out of here. I killed McCree though. Really? I got you, I got you. Easy, easy done, easily done. Let's go, baby. So 220 to about 270, depending on the situation. Overall, you're pretty much playing this on a 240 hertz display with the perfect refresh rate. You're taking advantage, look at that. Play of the game, baby. Guarantee this is when I kill the McCree. Now GTA 5 is still being played by a lot of people. In fact, it's still one of the most streamed games on Twitch as of today. I'm going to be running at 2560 by 1440 because this card has been handling that resolution like a champ. And because this is an older title, I don't think we're going to run into too many issues. Now the settings are mostly on high. There's a couple of them that I reduce to normal or soft, but the visual experience is going to look fantastic. Not bad, not bad. 120-ish FPS per second, 130 FPS per second, just what I expected. And 50 in the second test, really good frames per second. Like, it's gonna handle this game no problem. Like, I don't even know why I'm showing this to you, but I know a lot of you, people who play this game, want to know. Now we're at 160 to 150 frames per second. Dropping down to 110, when there's a lot of shadows being present on the screen. 140, 120, I saw it drop down to 113 for a second. This test is looking about 135 to 140 average. Still very, very good. Now this is what happens when you have a bit more movement. It spikes up because you don't have to render as fast. 180, 190, wow. Ooh, I saw a couple of little uh, lag spikes there. It dropped down to 117 FPS. But overall, this is, this is easy. QHD, GTA 5. No problem. All right, there's a little bit of street action when you're running around. So we got a guy getting into the car, bumping up. Saw it drop to 120 for a second, averaging about 140-ish. Dropping down to 125, 130, when there's a lot of cars and people on the street. 109, so if there's a lot of action on the street and shooting happening, this is probably going to hit 105 to 115. Which again, it's still fine. Like, you're still getting good FPS at QHD. Damn, 99. It dropped down to 99 there. There's a lot of action going on. Ninety-two, ninety. 90. I saw it drop down to 90 for one second. Now, Fortnite can run on anything. iPad, iPhone, Android device, doesn't matter. It's a very well optimized game. So we know it's gonna run at 1080p. And since this card is crushing games at QHD, we're just gonna jump to QHD too. It's already set to 2560 by 1440, unlimited frame rate. We have the quality presets on Epic. Ideally, I'd play on high, but I'm gonna turn a couple things off like anti-aliasing 
And I'm also gonna turn off motion blur because we don't need that. And then view distance, I will leave where it is and that should do it. We'll just turn a couple things off. Finally got a gun. Did I not pick it up? Seriously, this is my weapon? All right, okay, you know what? I'm gonna change the settings to, to high because I think it's a bit too, let's put down this to 75% and see how that, let's see how that works. A little better. And we're gonna change that to high presets. Okay. Still, there we go, 100 and, 190 frames per second. Now, in all fairness, I haven't fought anybody yet, but that's much better. Uh oh, here we go. Done, get out of here. Dead, easy, easy. Oh, don't build. The building is for chumps. He can't run people over in this game like COD? No, apparently you can't. How do I get out of here? Guess you can't. How do I get out of this thing? Oh, exit, E, hold. Knock down, baby. I like that. Let's kill him. Get out of here. Oh, I see another guy over there. I'm out of here. I don't build. Yeah, you keep doing it. You build your little house, buddy. This game is so ridiculous. Let's build. Like that's how you that's how you play this? Okay, you build, buddy. You just keep building. I hear someone right here. Number eight, I tried. I'm not good at this game, whatever. Anyways, there you have it. No problem, this game can handle QHD over 140 frames per second. No problem at all. So for CSGO, this is a super old title. You can pretty much get good frames per second on any computer with an integrated GPU. So obviously this 3700 XT is gonna be able to handle it fine. But the idea of testing this out is to see how much FPS per second you can get when it's set to 2560 by 1440. So I'm getting 230 FPS right now. I don't know why MSI Afterburn doesn't work in this, but I'm using the Steam overlay. Okay. Okay, let's, let's, yeah, okay, mm hmm Yeah, yeah, this is good, this is fun. Oh yeah, that's good. I'm the swearing here, okay? I'm trying to, oh my God. What kind of game is this where I'm just constantly getting fragged? Bam, 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 bam. Getting flanked? Do it. Wow. You know? Yeah, these kids aren't listening. Man, these kids aren't li oh, Again, flashbang, 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 flashbang. Flashbang city. Oh, I got eight of them. Fuck. What the? This makes no sense. Flashbang. Again, a flashbang? Oh my god! I have no idea what's going on. Alright, well, there you have it. No problem. It handles Counter Strike or CSGO without any issues. Apex Legends, another very well optimized game. Now, 1080p, we know this is going to hit the 144 FPS cap which the game sets natively. So we are going to do this at QHD and see if it can maintain the same frames per second. All right, 144 frames per second while we're diving, which is expected. Now let's see how it is when I'm on the ground and fighting. Got a game changer coming, just you wait. OK, 
Okay. This is the... Uh, I don't know which one's which. Evo Auto... Wait, what am I using now? Archinator? I don't even know if this is a gun. Oh, I need a grenade. I don't have a grenade. Nice. This guy can do it. Very nice. So done. Uh, heavy round. I think they went up there. What's this thing doing? Oh, getting shot. Okay. Oh, up there. Oh, this guy's a madman. This guy's going straight up. Peak. Oh, come on, man. Anyways, there's a fight. I suck at this game. Well, I don't suck at this game. I do suck at this game. 144 FPS, even when there are other people shooting at me. Easily handles it. This card is meant for QHD gaming. Valorant. We're going to go straight to QHD, baby, because just like CSGO, this game is super duper light. I got all the settings on high. I have my screen set to 2560 by 1440. Max FPS will be shown. Dropping down to 318 seconds. One enemy remaining. One. This is the dude over here. Easily clear up. Where's my gun? There. Oh, come on, man. I missed every shot there. Oh, he's flanking. Spike down, hey. Oh my god. Really? I'm so bad at this game. I am so bad at this game. Get out of my game. One enemy remaining. Here to your right. Attackers win. Ooh, all right. We won that game. Easy peasy for this card. Not going to be a problem, guys. All right, so now I changed the settings to QHD. We should see about a 20 FPS drop. Play. No problem. No problem. That was lucky pre-fire. Hostile sentry turret active. I'm not messing with that. Get him out. Too easy. Where is everybody? We killed them all. One by. I apologize. I don't have a fully decked out character in WoW. It's been a very long time since I've played this game. I actually used to play this game for like 10 years straight. But I am hopping in in Ogremar because it's a fairly busy city and we can get a kind of an idea of what kind of frames per second we're getting. Now I'm just gonna go into the settings and I'm gonna change a few things around and you guys can take a look. I'm gonna put everything on graphics quality 10 so everything is ultra high just because this is an older title and it should be able to handle it without any issues. Resolution scale is set to 2560 by 1440. Now I do wanna turn off vertical sync 
so we can get as high frame rates as possible. Well, I'm getting about 136 frames per second with everything maxed out. So most people are not gonna play with everything maxed out just because like the graphical representation you get is not that much higher. But Ogre Mar is a good example of a place where your FPS will kind of drop a little bit, especially when you're around a lot of people. All right, so we're doing a dungeon. I'm getting what? Oh my God, it's been so long. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm so bad at this. Uh, this one. See, if I'm... If I'm in Orga mode, yeah, I'm dead. Obviously, if I'm in Orgrimmar, frames drop a little bit more, but playing this at QHD with all the settings set to Ultra Max is gonna be an absolute breeze for this, uh, for this card. So here's the bottom line. This thing can obviously handle 1440p on some of the most popular titles being played today, especially if you're a Warzone player. Like the Radeon cards just offer better FPS, at least until Nvidia can push out their DLSS update to Warzone specifically. But the bottom line is that you should buy the card that's available. Like if this 5700 XT is capable of handling the games you're currently playing and possibly future playing, you should just buy it if you can get it for retail price. This holds true for the 3060 Ti or 3070. Whatever comes up first, just buy it because the shortages are so bad right now. If you hold out, you might not be able to get one of these GPUs at retail price for another year. So that wraps up my review of the 6700 XT. If you enjoyed it, let me know in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one.